It didn't seem like a nearly flawless performance from you, and they've got a chance to kind of process it a little bit now. Give us your initial thoughts on, on how you thought it played out tonight. Oh, I fought the way I should, uh, the way I thought I was going to fight. You know, it was a perfect game plan. You know, me, Dwayne, and my coaches at uh, Elevation Fight Team with Elliot and Leister, knowing that my wrestling and my grappling would outclass him, um, keeping him at distance with my kicks because he was so much shorter than I was, just not playing his game. You know, I mean, it was kind of crazy to me how many people do play his game and get into a slugfest with him, put their heads down, and and go crazy. You know, so I just wanted to prove that uh, toughness doesn't get you the belt. You got to be smart and well rounded. There were a couple times it did seem like he tried to bait you, and I think you were having a little fun. Did, yeah. did you have to check yourself a little bit? No, man. I mean, I was I was pretty level headed out there. You know, I'm more level headed in my fights than I am in the, in, in the gym. You know, so it's uh, there's a lot on the line. You know, I mean, you, got, you got to be smart. You got to be composed. And you had the unique opportunity to then sit back and watch yeah. the championship fight. Give us your initial thoughts on on Cody Garbrandt's performance. I'm impressed. You know, I thought Cruz was getting into his head so much and having his his buddies in his corner, man, or whoever it was getting in his head and trying to get his feathers ruffled. And for him to keep his composure the way he did, I was really impressed. And he had a couple words for you when he finished. Yes. Uh, what, what did you think? I mean, were you expecting that? I mean, is there any any hard feelings there? What, I mean, what, what did you think about it? I don't have hard feelings. I'm sure it's going to be played up big time for all the drama and stuff. No hard feelings. I mean, maybe a little bit of the, with, the, with the unnecessary trash talk when I'm not even fighting him, you know what I mean? But, uh, all I can say is thank you because now I'm going to get a title shot. You know, I man, for sure with the drama leading up to this is thank you. <laughs> hey, it does seem like the natural fight. I can't imagine what else they would do. But has anybody pulled you aside yet and said, hey, sit tight, bud. We'll, we'll, we'll get with you and, and schedule this title fight? No, I haven't heard nothing yet. No. Um, TJ, congratulations. I wonder, you know, when you evaluate uh, Cody, his defense seems so good tonight. I figured Cruz would be the guy making a miss. Cruz was missing so many of his shots, and Cody, has he been that good defensively when you trained with him? No, I feel like he was a little more aggressive when I trained with him. You know, he, he did, like I said, I was really impressed with his composure. You know, he did a good job of not getting too aggressive and not winging punches, and uh, it kind of held back. I feel like Cruz almost looked more emotional in the fight tonight. You know, I felt like he looked a little more stiff and didn't use his jab as much as he usually does, and uh, falling over from kicks and stuff. And, uh, you know, I think. Uh, like I said, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I thought I thought it was a game plan of uh, Cruz getting his head, but uh, looked like it went the other way. The backfired on him. And what about the calf slicer? Can you uh, oh. sort of go through that and sort of what was uh, going on in your head right there? Man, that's the first jujitsu move I've ever learned. I ever learned in my brother's garage like 12 years ago. You know, like wrestling, you always lay right, and so I went for it. I learned a cast splicer, and uh, I've always wanted to hit it in a fight and finish someone with it, and uh, I thought I was going to get it, but. I mean, I guarantee you his knee or his calf's gonna hurt tomorrow because I cranked on that thing. What, you, did he express any pain as he was laying there? Because it looked like you had it in pretty deep. I had it super deep. I mean, I don't know if I just didn't crank hard enough for what I thought I did. I mean, I didn't hear nothing from him, so uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, the guy was leaning up into elbows when I was elbowing him, so I mean, he's crazy tough. TJ, uh, I, I know you wanted the title shot tonight that Cody Garbrandt got, but now that everything has played out the way this evening that it has, you putting on a dominant performance and him having a star-making performance, can you can you maybe think now that the, the, the title shot with you guys matching up is actually going to have greater anticipation and probably be a more marketable fight as a result? Yeah, most likely, yeah, absolutely. They're going to they're gonna play up the drama like crazy for sure. I mean, I'm sure that's what's going to happen for sure. You know, the calf slicer was mentioned, and uh, I, I've noted before that in your fights, even when you're comfortably ahead on scorecards, you seem like you're never really afraid to go for it, even in the third round when you don't necessarily have to. Is that a cognizant thought you have, or is that just an instinct that kicks in that even though you're ahead on the scorecards, you're still going to step on the gas? Uh, just an instinct. You know, I mean, I train so hard that I'm in such good shape that I can, I can push it, you know. Um, I don't want to be a boring fighter. You know, I, I mean, not, not only am I going to uh, look good in technical fighting, but I don't want to be boring. I want to be one of those guys that's even on top I'm punishing someone or I'm looking for the submission I'm always working with. And lastly, what was he saying to you? Could you understand what he was saying to you when he, he, he was on bottom? He was saying something to you. Yeah, I have no idea what he said. I even told him, I was like, I don't understand what you're saying. You know, I, I wish I spoke Portuguese, but I, I don't, unfortunately. Thanks. Uh, 
Congratulations on the performance, TJ. Um, after you won, you said uh, if you didn't get a title shot, the system was rigged. Could you elaborate on that? You know, I didn't know what, what the deal was. I don't know if uh, Cruz was the one picking his fights and not taking what he was going to take, or if it was the UFC trying to build Cruz up because he works behind the desk. I don't know. I, I thought that I was deserving of the title shot after my last, my last fight, so I just figured if I got overlooked again. I talked, I tried to talk what I thought, I, I thought I, I did what I thought I had to do to talk about Cruz to try to line that up if he did win, you know? I figured if Cody won, that they would draw, they put us together because it's a big drama thing, but if Cruz won, I didn't want the same thing to happen. I didn't want him to look for another fighter or retire, who knows what, you know? I wanted to make sure to build that up before, I, I figured that was the only way that I could still get a title shot, you know? Yeah, and earlier on Twitter, there was a little back and forth where Cody said he had like, his training partner had some tape of knocking you out. Did you see that? <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely false. I mean, you could, I mean, they're not gonna put anything out because I've never been knocked out. I've never been knocked out. I mean, the, the closest I've been knocked out was when John Dotson hit me in the Ultimate Fighter for nine and got stopped. You know, I mean, my lights weren't out, but that's the, that's the closest I've been to being knocked out. Do you, do you feel like you have a psychological edge over him since you got to kind of be the big brother in the gym for a while? Um, sure, man. I mean, he knows. I, he knows I'm gonna bring it. He knows I'm tough. And he knows that I, I, I know where to, where to get him at. You know, so yeah, absolutely. Congratulations, TJ. Oh, Thank when, you. when you're looking at Dominic's performance, was that the same Dominic that you fought? And he looked injured. He looked. He looked stiff. He looked emotional. You know, I. I, I don't think he fought his fight, but. It also could be the way that Cody fought. Maybe he expected Cody to be a little more aggressive. Maybe it threw him off, you know. But uh, he didn't look the same, no. How soon do you expect this fight to happen between you and Cody? Uh, obviously, I know you want to get in there soon. You seem pretty healthy, but when do you expect this to happen? And where would you like for it to happen? Uh, Vegas is always the best, man. It's always the easiest to fight here. Everything's just so central, easy to get to. You guys know what you're doing out here. So <laughs> Vegas makes the most sense. But uh, it was good in Colorado. <laughs> no, but. Uh, I don't know how soon it's gonna happen, but I'm healthy. You know, I'm coming out of this fight healthy. I'm, I'm feeling good, so yeah, whenever. Anyone else? Anyone else? Cool. Sweet, thank you guys.